Happy Sunday morning, Hardys and fans of Wind Calls the Heart everywhere. I'm Brian Bird, executive producer of the show, and I thought today would be a good day to drop in on you with one of my occasional video logs. Now, by now, you've probably heard the amazing news that season seven of Wind Calls the Heart is a go. We couldn't be any more thrilled about our renewal from our friends over at the Hallmark Channel, and I hope you are too. What this means is that after the rest of season six's remaining episodes have finished airing, a brand new season will be coming to your TV screens in 2020. Not only that, later on this year, our new spin-off series, When Hope Calls, will be coming exclusively to the new streaming service, Hallmark Movies Now. We hope you'll follow all the characters and stories and virtues and values of our When Calls the Heart cinematic universe over there, too. Now, as you may know, over these past several seasons, sometimes I get a little philosophical about When Calls the Heart. That's because it's a TV series that almost never happened. Perhaps you've heard me share that story in the past. If not, I hope you'll have a chance to find my retelling of that saga online somewhere. But it's often why I remind myself, and perhaps you need a reminder too, of just how special this TV series is. At a time when most of the rest of TV doesn't care or has forgotten how to make programming that doesn't ambush your values, programs that you can watch as a whole family, we're not going to stop making this kind of content for you anytime soon. I believe the culture needs the hope, faith, and love that you see happening in the stories uh, in Hope Valley. Without shows like When Calls the Heart and When Hope Calls, all we have available to us is zombies and vampires and crystal meth dealers and dead bodies and nonstop cynicism across the TV dial. What that kind of content misses is the soul food that we all need to survive and thrive. Themes of redemption and community and courage and nobility and forgiveness. I believe that kind of soul food is why so many people around the world have responded so powerfully to When Calls the Heart. Did you know that in the, when, in the United States alone, When Calls the Heart is the number two scripted program in all of advertiser-supported cable TV, and you have made it that way. All right, now let me shift gears for a moment. As you know, this season, we were all caught off guard by the circumstances surrounding our friend Lori Loughlin and her family. Abigail Stanton's story has always been an important part of the Hope Valley journey. And while our hearts hurt for Lori, none of us has any idea what the future holds right now. Some of you have asked what will happen to Abigail's character and shared your opinion that Hope Valley should be an example of forgiveness and grace. You know, as a human being, I couldn't agree more, and Hope Valley will always be a place of second chances. But in the real world, that doesn't mean that justice can be ignored. In fact, forgiveness and justice are sometimes flip sides of the same coin. They're never meant to cancel each other out, but they actually are meant to work together for good in our lives. Both justice and mercy are values we care about in Hope Valley, as should all of us as individuals in the real world. And sometimes the laws of man and the laws in our hearts have to coexist in a state of conflict until justice and redemption can be resolved and life can be restored. Good people can disagree with each other over these important issues in life, but I've always believed that can and should happen without any of us having to be disagreeable. That's the way we have always rolled in Hope Valley, and it's the way I hope you will all roll with each other. Your hearty community is a powerful legacy very few television programs have ever been privileged with, and I believe it will be the best legacy of When Calls the Heart well after it, we've finished our run on TV. Thank you for all of your support for all of us through thick and thin these last several seasons. Life is challenging, but true friendship and community make it possible and all worthwhile. Now until May 5th and 6th, when season 6 returns to your TV screens, God bless you. Thanks for watching.